Hi guys, there was a clearance uh, in a uh, hardware store and this storage box was $19 and it went down to $5 here and it's about uh, 70 centimeter long by 40 wide and uh, I'm not sure about the depth but it's not very sh uh, very deep uh, yeah so there was few damages uh, on, on the lid but no, uh, nothing critical and what I did is that that's gonna be for my uh, black soldier fly larvae composting and uh, the idea would be to throw the, the food scraps here with the, uh, the larvae and when uh, they are ready to pupate they will climb up the, uh, the, um, the ramp there and go and fall into the collection uh, area here and I will be putting some uh, cocoa coir or peat moss or even vermicompost in here so that the, uh, the pupa will um, bury themselves in, uh, in the soil and uh, when they're ready they will uh, transform into adult fly and uh, either fly away or stay around and uh, be attracted to, to the food. I will be putting a, uh, an egg trap around here, I'm not sure where yet but uh, probably what I'm be doing is take the lead here upside down like that and I will be putting some hinges uh, on this side here so I can open the, uh, the lead and close it back. So the reason why I put it upside down is because it has a natural opening here so I don't need to drill any holes uh, for the ventilation or letting the flies in and out there and uh, about the um, the egg traps I will probably stick uh, the car cor corrugated cardboard trap uh, on the lid itself pointing down towards the uh, the food or maybe against the uh, the side uh, I'm not sure yet so uh, the the separation wall has been made of uh, styrofoam that I cut down to size and I glued to the uh, to the bin with uh, some uh, some cork Not the most beautiful work, but it will do the trick. Eh? Alright, so this is my prototype, and uh, I'll let you know if it worked. Thanks for watching.